Hey everybody. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's go ahead and dive in. Uh, there was a previous video where we introduced the Tableau Metadata API and started out showing a site just, uh, just like this, my, my Tableau dev site, and we showed how if you want to know information about your server environment or your Tableau Online environment, um, specifically about the content that exists on it, and maybe the users, the groups, pretty much anything that isn't the data itself, um, then you can use the metadata API to really build these customized queries that expose that information to you. So we saw that a, one potential entry point to that metadata information is by going to this external assets tab and then going to this little button up at the top right that just to show you that one more time, this query metadata GraphQL button, if we click on that, it pulls us into this interface where we can write these queries. Now, I don't want to get into the weeds too much about explaining this because the other video that's linked in the description of this one really does that already. So I will just quickly recap. Over here in the left, this is where we can build our queries. And it could be as simple as what you see over here, which is saying, I want to know something about my workbooks. Uh, what do I want to know? I want to know the name of the workbook. I want to know some stuff about the owner of the workbook. And then it follows this kind of, this hierarchy of the first thing you want to know, details about that thing. And then if you get to something that has its own kind of subset of details, like an owner has additional information such as the name of the owner, the username, the email address for that owner, well then that goes into its own kind of new hierarchy of information. So to recap on what, what we covered in that other video, um, uh, you know, another important point here is you have this documentation where if you have no idea what's available to you in terms of information about your workbooks, you could type this workbook text over here into the search, this documentation explorer, and you would see, all right, here is workbook. Click on that, and it's going to expose to you a lot of information about uh, what you can pull about workbooks. So we saw all of this. We saw if you click run up here, uh, it's this little button, this little play button. Then you're going to get all that data returned to you as a JSON object. So then we, we took all this JSON data, we uh, selected everything, copied it, pasted it into a text file, uh, saved that as a JSON file, and then opened up a Tableau desktop uh, file or a Tableau desktop program, and we connected to that JSON file and then started interacting with it. So we're going to do the same thing here, except uh, whereas that the previous process kind of requires you to come in and manually type in these queries, manually click the run button, and then manually copy and paste that data into a file, uh, manually save it, manually open up Tableau, open it, you know, there's a whole lot of manual there. And we want to switch from manual to automatic here. We want to show you the, the steps that you could take to begin to build your own workflows that tap into the metadata API, but then do it in an automated fashion so that you don't have to have this, uh, this kind of time vampire over here sucking out all your time. You can just do everything really smoothly. You write some code, you do it once, and then it just gets the job done over and over again with very little effort. So over here in this other tab, I've built up a query that's really similar to what we ended up with in the previous video. And let's go ahead and copy this text. And uh, we can click run here just so you can see I'm not lying about the information this is returning. And we can see that we're getting a whole lot of information about workbooks, including some information about the data sources that are fueling that workbook, uh, specifically embedded data sources and upstream data sources. So embedded is just going to be anything that's really specific to that workbook. It only exists within that workbook, uh, whereas upstream data sources are data sources that are um, published to Tableau Server independent of a workbook, and any workbook could point to those data sources. All right, so we have this query, and it's giving us results, but let's not copy and paste this into a text file. This time, let's hop into a Jupyter Notebook and let's walk through these um, pretty simple steps 
that's going to allow you to query that um, in a programmatic fashion. So there is a library here I'm going to import, which is going to allow us to easily save the JSON data that the server is going to return to us. It's going to allow us to easily save that to a file. So I import JSON. And then I'm using the Tableau API lib library to talk to our server. So from Tableau API lib, I'm importing the Tableau server connection. And I'm configuring my connection down here in this uh, config dict. So this dictionary here just gives us all the information about my Tableau environment that I'd like to connect to. There's also a video on this if you want to know more about this. Check out the Getting Started with Tableau API Lib tutorial, also linked in the description. And now what we can do, since we, since we know what server we're connecting to, we have our personal access token uh, or user and password set up in the configuration information above, we can initialize an instance of this Tableau server connection, and we can sign into that. Now that we're signed in, let's just quickly define the query that we want to send to the server. And I already copied and pasted that, so let me just, uh, well, I didn't paste it yet. But let me go ahead and copy that again so I can paste it over here uh, just to show you that this is the exact same text that we were uh, referencing above. And uh, let's just paste this in here. Go ahead and run. Uh, we'll note that that's all between a multi-line comment. So, I mean, not necessarily a multi-line comment, a multi-line string. So I just put these triple quotes and then you can um, put some really nice formatted text. So that's pretty convenient. And now let's go ahead and run the, uh, the metadata query. So inside the Tableau API lib library, there is a method um, within that Tableau server connection that's called metadata graph ql query and this accepts one argument a query and that query should be the text that we defined above or whatever custom query you want to run so let's go ahead and save this uh, into a, a variable named response which is going to be the the response we get from the server so if you just take a look inside response it's going to give you this uh, status code uh, you know, all these other things that you have access to inside of response are available to you, but we only really care right now about the JSON body. So we can see if we run response.json, we're going to get all this data returned to us. And if we scroll down, we can take a look at how we output this JSON data to a file. So this is a common pattern here. I'm saying uh, I'm using this with statement. And what this is going to do is it's going to open this file temporarily and then write the contents for me. And then it's going to close it. I don't have to explicitly call a uh, you know close file operation or something because this with statement, when it's done, when we leave this code block, uh, that file is just going to close for me. So we say with open and then we put the file path here. Uh, in my case, this is just going to save to my working uh, directory. So we'll see that it, it overwrites whatever's sitting up here. And um, we have this W here because we are in write mode. If you were reading a file, if you were opening a file to read it, this would be R instead of W. And we just say, okay, with open, all that information we just explained as file. And then we're going to say, let's make use of that JSON library that we imported at the top of this uh, notebook. And that allows us to easily say, uh, we can call on this dump method, so json.dump, and what we're dumping is our JSON data, and that's stored within that response.json, and where are we dumping it to? Well, that's just this file that we have opened up top as file. So hopefully that explains this really well for you. Um, now we run that really quickly, we get the, uh, the JSON data saved, so let's pop that open. And we can see that this is a bunch of nested information, and perhaps you're more familiar with looking at data inside of Tableau. So let's go ahead and hop into um, Tableau. We can close this, start fresh. So let's connect to um, JSON data, because that's what we just wrote using that code. 
and we wrote all of that data to metadata API results.json so we can open this up and just like in that previous video we selected this button up here that just takes all of the data within that JSON file and flattens it for us and now if we hop out into an empty sheet we could see that we have information to stuff like the the owner for every workbook you know here are my two different owners it's me and me <laughs> so let's see what uh, you know what views I own so I could just say alright give me the view names or maybe I want to see you know which projects is this owner involved with so it looks like one version of me only plays around in the REST API practice project. So you can just start interacting with your data. Uh, we're not seeing anything crazy here because I'm just freestyling on this. But uh, if I were wanting to build something like an impact analysis report, or if I wanted to maybe find out all the embedded connections in my workbooks that might need to be refreshed, because uh, they haven't been refreshed in forever, or maybe identify stale content that it's time to just sunset and remove from the server. Uh, this is probably the fastest way to get to these insights about the content on your server, is to tap into the, the Tableau Metadata API, um, send a couple you know, smartly crafted GraphQL queries, and then use that data to make your decisions. So just to show you, you know, I, I mentioned looking at the, you know, how old is all, or how old are all the different extracts in my workbooks? Well, I could easily get to that in a meaningful way by maybe looking at all of my projects and then saying, what are all of my workbooks? So let's take the names of our workbooks out here as well. And each workbook may or may not have an embedded data source. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, embedded data source names. And we can see all these different data sources that are embedded inside each workbook and then we can see if these have extracts or not uh, whoops I already grabbed the time so let's also bring this out here so we can see that some of these workbooks do have embedded extracts some don't and then for the ones that do we can see the last time these extracts were refreshed so if I'm talking about looking for stale content 2018 looks pretty stale to me so maybe I need to go ahead and get in contact with whoever owns this. Again, we can just drag you know, that email address out here. And I can see, all right, I need to get in touch with myself and uh, have a little conversation about this ancient extract. But, uh, but anyways, I don't want to drag this on too long. You've seen it. Um, we can use the, the user interface to do GraphQL queries, as we did in the previous video, or you can use... Uh, the programmatic approach. It's really going to open the door to automation for you and be able to do things like cycle through all of your sites that might be on your server. Maybe you manage 50 sites within a single server environment. Well, that's going to be a pain even doing the, the manual approach. You would have to authenticate into 50 different sites and then manually uh, run all of those queries and paste them into text files. That quickly just becomes a massive headache. Why do that when you could make a Python script uh, loop through each of your sites, run the same metadata uh, query, uh, pull those into something like a Tableau workbook, build some really cool analysis for your team, and then publish it to the server. And nobody even has to know that you're this metadata wizard uh, because they just end up interacting with all that data in a Tableau workbook. So that's kind of the value that this can bring to the table. And these are just tip of the iceberg type things. So I encourage you to play around with this, get to know the metadata API. Um, I think it's going to be a really powerful tool as more and more people learn about it. So hope this has helped you and hope to see you in future videos.